Here's all the things Meghan Markle can't do now that she's a royal. Now that Meghan Markle is a princess, there's a lot of new rules she has to follow since she can't break royal protocol. The former actress used to be able to do whatever she wanted when she was a Hollywood star, but things will be different for her now. Aside from the typical name change when you marry, Rachel Meghan Mountbatten Windsor has a nice ring to it. And new title, the Duchess of Sussex can't do a lot of things today. But luckily for Meg, she'll be an expert on the do's and don'ts in no time since she's allegedly going to be undergoing princess training for the next six months. One of Queen Elizabeth's most trusted advisors will be hosting the Duchess lessons that will include six months of listening for Meg. How intense. On top of that, Meghan's new sister-in-law, Kate Middleton, has also reportedly stepped up to help Meghan adjust to royal life. Kate has been on hand to help Meghan get that polished royal look as has her stylist, Natasha Archer, who is Kate's secret weapon in the style department. A source told Vanity Fair, Meghan now needs to find her own stylist so that she can curate her own look, but both Kate and Natasha have been very kind in helping her out in recent months. We're not saying there aren't a lot of rules to follow, but we know Meghan will be able to handle all the challenges that come with being a royal. Sign Autographs According to The Express, Royal family members aren't allowed to sign autographs in public for safety reasons. The long-standing rule remains in place for all royals because of the risk of the signature being forged, the British publication previously revealed. Prince Charles reportedly responds to autograph requests with sorry, they don't allow me to do that. Meghan previously broke royal protocol by signing an autograph in the past. Go out in public alone. Now that Meghan is a royal, she can't really go anywhere by herself. According to OK, Meghan will always have an all-female security team with her when she is out. Fall asleep before the Queen. Yes, this is a thing. The Daily Beast reports that Meghan has to wait until the Queen goes to sleep first or else it's considered bad form. Take a selfie. Forget about getting behind-the-scenes pics of Meghan. According to The Mirror, the Queen isn't a fan of selfies. Wear dark nail polish. Meghan will have to stick with lighter shades since royal family members don't typically go dark per Queen Elizabeth's request. According to Glamour, Meghan has been wearing mostly neutral tones since getting engaged to Harry. Be on social media. We had to say goodbye to Meghan's Instagram account months ago, and honestly, things haven't been the same since. Luckily for us, we can keep track of her day-to-day -day life on the Kensington Palace Twitter account. Have nights out with her girlfriends. Sorry to Meghan's BFF Jessica Moroni, but Meghan's days of partying out late with her friends are now over. Show her legs. It seemed Meghan wasn't wearing stockings in her engagement photos, and according to a royal expert, that's a no-go. You never see a royal without their nude stockings. Meghan, from what I can see from the engagement photographs, it doesn't look like she was wearing tights or stockings, Victoria Arbiter told the Business Insider. I would say that's really the only hard, steadfast rule in terms of what the Queen requires. Be on suits. Shortly after Meghan and Harry got engaged, she revealed she'd no longer be an actress. I think what's been so exciting, transitioning, out of my career and into, as you said, the causes I can focus even more energy on, very early out of the gate, is that you? have a voice that people listen to, a lot of responsibility, she said at the time. We'll miss Rachel Zane. Show a lot of PDA with Harry. Although Meghan and Harry have been touchy-feely on numerous occasions, like Kate Middleton and Prince William, they'll have to take the PDA down a notch now.